One thing I normally hear in a lot of like professional wrestling fan gatherings or fan circles is the obvious question, who is the best wrestler, right? Like, who do you think is the best wrestler and who do you think is the best blah, blah, blah? I don't in any way, shape, form, context, whatever. I don't believe in the best wrestler in the world. I think that is a stupid concept. I think that is a stupid question. I think that is something, it's an archaic kind of annoying thing that fans just kind of tend to harp on. In my opinion, if a wrestler says that they think that they're the best wrestler, I'm not going to argue that because they're allowed to be confident about themselves. They're allowed to think that they are that good. You know, when completely taken out of context here, when I, you know, was I had bad luck with women growing up. I had ridiculously terrible luck with women. And I used to say, oh, women don't like the sight of me because I'm physically unattractive. No, actually, I would say I am ugly as sin. I would say that women look at me and they go, birds fly, fish swim, I don't want to be with him, let's go. And I would say things like that. And I would say I'm the ugliest dude on the planet. And I still say that. But, and people would say, oh, uh, technically speaking, if you were more confident in yourself, you could probably get these ladies. Fast forward, a wrestler says that they think that they're the best wrestler in the world, and the same people who just told me that I need to have confidence in myself are now saying, this wrestler sucks, they're, the, they're terrible, they're, they're, they're not even close to being great. I mean, sure, maybe a little bit, but not all. You see what I'm saying? It, it's just like, you know, so which one is it? Should I have confidence or not? You know, you probably might think that those two things sound unrelated, but are they, though? The fact of the matter is, is that like, I, but back to this, it's, it's dumb. It's really stupid because it's like, first off, the best wrestler is subjective. There is going to never be such thing as a best wrestler because of the fact that in order for there to be a best wrestler, it has to be one wrestler that's better than everybody else, right? That's the concept. And that's never going to be the thing because the conversation as far back as we can remember, there's always been multiple wrestlers who are great in their own right. I mean, and then again, how do you measure who's the best wrestler? How do you measure who's the best in anything when it comes to this? Wrestling is an art form. It's not necessarily like some kind, it's not really a competition. You don't score points. You don't, um, you know, yeah, you don't really like score points. There's no measurement to your accolades or whatever you know what i'm saying if you win a title you win a title like you know granted people started to give titles like tiers now so apparently there's top tier secondary tier but do how do you determine that you know what i mean how do you determine who is a mid-card wrestler and who is a bottom tier wrestler or a low tier wrestler because a lot of times you know a lot of times people are usually thrown into loops and stuff like that professional wrestling is an art form how do you judge who is good and who is bad at a specific art form, you know? Like, how do you look at art and go, this artwork is bad. I, I, I can't put my finger on it, but it's not great in comparison to this artwork, which is completely different, but better than this one. It's weird, you know? So, it's a, like I say, it's just a dumb conversation, and I wish fans would break away from that. Like, I would sooner accept hearing a fan say, I like this wrestler, what do you think of this wrestler? Rather than saying, this wrestler is better than this other wrestler. Because, why? Who cares, right? Like, you know, it's not, like, you know, how do you determine that? It's, it's completely weird. It's dumb. You know, um, Kofi Kingston apparently said that he thinks that the New Day is one of the best wrestling tag team stable groups of all time. And personally, I believe it. Once again, if a wrestler says that they're doing good, I'm not going to deny that. And also, if you really like want to get right down to the nitty gritty of it, haven't you know they haven't split up. There hasn't been any kind of discord between them. There hasn't even been any tease of a discord between them. They've been around for this long. They've each has you know decent what should we call us in their own right. So yeah, they should definitely at least at the very least, if he says it, people shouldn't feel like they have to disagree with it. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like, he's a wrestler who's actually doing a thing, and you're a fan who probably doesn't like him. So, it's just like, at the end of the day, that's kind of what it boils down to, at least to me. That's what it feels like or seems like to me. But it's still a stupid conversation. It's still dumb. It's still, like, like you know, like, um, 
a lot of people really don't understand. Like, I don't care that much about these lists or these these rankings or these tier lists or whatever they're called because they're all biased. It's all, you know, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. So the person who's making the list is going to be the person who's going off of their own idea as to who they like. So, like, for what? There is no best wrestler in the world. There is no best tag team in the world. There is no best anything in the world. And it's subjective as hell. And it's a conversation that kind of just needs to die. It kind of, you know, like, I feel like it sort of stifles the fandom a little bit. Because there's no, cause like the conversations never go past, I like this wrestler. I think they're better than your favorite wrestler. My favorite wrestler is better than your favorite wrestler because my favorite wrestler is the best wrestler. It's like there's more to talk about. You could be talking about new wrestlers in the scene you could be talking about new companies you could be talking about you know something cool that you saw you could be talking about things that you like you know what i mean instead of trying to start fights with complete strangers because their favorite isn't your favorite and you want your favorite to reign supreme over somebody else's favorite it's like what is this video games i don't know maybe i'm just ranting but at the end of the day it's just for me, it's just a dumb conversation. And like, if we're going to be talking about who's the best, can we just, can we, can we move past that? Can we talk about other things? Can we talk about, you know, um, the new faces, new companies, cool stuff that you like? Like, you know, what's a feud that you enjoy? You know? Not what's the best feud, what's the feud that you liked? You know? I just, uh, fandoms are dope. Wrestling fandoms are dope, and they really are. They, it, it just feels like they kind of just, you know, they, they, they limit themselves, you know? And if, you know, it feels like if they didn't limit themselves, it would probably have a bigger effect on professional wrestling than it kind of already does. Because, the effect that professional wrestling fans sort of have on actual wrestling, it feels like it's not nearly as big as the fans claim that it is. I probably might lose some watches on this one. Oh well. <laughs>